Kenyan Swankas will on Monday join thousands of others globally to mark this year's Liberty celebrations. The day comes at a time when the country is grappling with high cost of living and the government insists its ends are tied due to the staggering wage bill. Despite these factors, Kenyan workers are expecting that an announcement by President Uhuru Kenyatta will see them earn some extra coins. <laughs> tuongeze by another 12% the basic minimum salary of the people of the Republic of Kenya. Rais alifanya kitu nzuri sana akiwa kwa kiwanda moja cha 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 Joel Kandiyeti. Yeah. Ibisek. Ibisek. Yeah. Akasema kweli kwa miaka mbili sijaongeza wafanyakazi mshahara. Na mwaka hii naambia employers muwe prepared tutaongeza mshahara. And as workers hope for an announcement that could change their financial fortunes, the Central Organization of Trade Union is warning employers against exploiting its workers. I have such caliber of people. We are narrowing down to them. Says entrepreneurs who are keen on setting up industries should prioritize the welfare of workers. Company nyingi za ukora ambazo watu wataki unionization. Yeah. Unaona? Kuna kama kemboi wale watu wako wanaivasha staff flowers. How do you sack people 1000 at one time? Na purpose of government allowing you to invest in Kenya is to assist the government by providing employment to unemployed Kenyans. Hiyo ndiyo kwa sababu wanapata licenses. Tumeuliza tunataka kuchukua hizo kampuni za ambazo zinafuta shop stewards na zinafuta uh, viongozi wa wafanyakazi, zinafuta members, mta kiingia kwa union wanafukuza. We want to enlist the mulete majina kwa general secretaries wenu. Nataka kuwa na serious meeting with the head of state. At the same time, the workers union has called on the government to tame the rising cost of living. But to Secretary General Francis Atoli also eat out at politicians, accusing them of failing to champion the rights of workers. Brenda Kiprono reporting for Channel One News Weekend.